see the confidence that the documents and the plans outlined is good enough to ensure that the Ghanaian people return you. The NDC is bringing with confidence. Uh, confidence is at its apex in the party at the moment. You can see the almost carnival atmosphere that we have here. The energy, the drive, the fire that is in the belly of everybody who has gathered here shows clearly that this is a party that is determined to make a difference. This is a party that is determined to win elections and dislodge this MPP government from power so that we can govern the country in a manner that is suitable, in a manner that is satisfactory to the people of Ghana. And I believe also that if you listen to the details of our manifesto and the clear policy propositions that have come forth, there is no doubt that the NDC has a plan, the vision and the capacity to salvage whatever is left of our country so that we can place it on a pedestal towards growth and prosperity for all. 90 days to scrap certain taxes, 120 days to implement some policies. Some say it's a bit overly ambitious and perhaps you should get into the office first, assess what the situation is and then you can uh, begin the implementation of, of, of these many policies. What, what's your response to uh, criticisms like that? You see, it is precisely the reason why in this election, the Ghanaian people must choose the experience of Muhammad. This is a, ma a man who has been president before, has run government before, Experience, and is well-versed in the way that government business should be conducted. Now, when he speaks about scrapping certain taxes in 90 days, you do know that within three months of assuming office, the government has to put out its first manifesto. And if that is to be done, you have to go to, sorry, its first budget statement, I beg your pardon. You have to go to parliament to get it done. By March, the first budget of the Muhammad administration should be ready. And for that reason, all that needs to happen is for a bill to be taken to Parliament after the reading of the budget to indicate that these taxes stand repealed. So that is achievable. He says he will form his government or he will appoint the full complement of his ministers within 14 days or even like two weeks of assuming office. This is a man who once again has been in power before and so knows what has to be done. Therefore, the Ghanaian people will be in completely safe hands if they vote for President Mahama and he is certain to deliver on the promises that he has made. Now, these are clear-cut uh, promises. These are not extravagant promises, but these are promises that are necessary to deliver us from the difficult, abysmal, appalling governance that Baumia and his strategies in the MPP have foisted on the people of Ghana.